Welcome to Thursday's MLSNet.com Top 4, a sampling of some of the best videos on the site today. I got an email from Coop asking the sitter, why don't all MLS teams have a jersey sponsor? All right, first a real brief history. In 2006, Chivas USA President and CEO Sean Hunter, then with AEG and the Galaxy, championed an initiative to allow teams to sell the front of the jersey. And this was approved for the 2007 season. We all know it's common practice around the world, but over here, there's an overwhelming fear that's gonna damage the integrity of the sports or cheapen the team brands. Jersey's often held up as the last piece of unspoiled real estate. And Bob Bradley still experimenting with players, with system, with tactics, and he did that in Costa Rica. He got the win that he needed in Chicago against Honduras. I'd be a little more critical of them after going down to Costa Rica and getting spanked. I don't think it's easy to win there. I don't think we should have gone in thinking we were going to win, but I almost think they went in there thinking, well, we're probably not going to win this. You know, and that the effort was just lacking. They were they were down. They didn't have that energy that you saw. It's, I mean, it's a time to experiment, though. I have several nicknames, starting from when I was younger. Chickadee, which is terrible, turned into Chuck, and then derivatives from Chuck, like Chuck Wagon, Chuck Taylor. I think they call me Chuck Wagon just because of the way I'm built. They say I'm built like a Chuck so, or a wagon. My first car was a 1990 champagne Honda Accord. On the back of it, there was a little, there's a little symbol that said reliable. And when I was in school, some of my friends used to just call it reliable, but it wasn't so reliable. <laughs> so. You know, it's never easy in this, uh, in this position we're in to, to, to make trades and, and upset people's lives and stuff, but we felt that um, it was the right moves for both guys. You know, I think that Cam's playing time was getting sort of less and less, and I, and I felt the way we were playing and the, and the system we were playing maybe wasn't quite suiting Cam at this point, so I feel comfortable that, um, you know, we moved him to Houston. And it relieves us on cap as well um, with the salaries, the difference, uh, difference between um, Cam and, and Chris Wondolowski. And I think with the Nick Garcia, I know it's, it's sad to lose Nick, but you know he was on a big contract here and, and a lot of money. It just frees us up that, that money to, to go on and pursue other things. You can find full versions of all of these videos and more on MLSnet.com.